Michelle low-key liked Eddie on the show, but didn't want to show it because of Eileen. Next question. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Owen Holt, which means you're watching Awesomeness TV's Vibe Room, the show where we get caught up with your favorite ATV cast members and influencers. Today, I'm kicking it with one of your faves from the recent season of Next Influencer, Michelle Wozniak, and the star of Growing Up Eileen, Eileen herself! Hi! Welcome to the show! Thanks. Welcome to the show, you guys! I want to talk about you guys. How are you? Good! I'm doing better than ever. Me too. I'm thriving. You're yeah. thriving. Michelle, you just got back from Paris. Yeah, I was all over you. Michelle, we haven't seen you since, I think, the reunion. When you just uh -huh. like stormed off or something like, or like logged off. Yeah, I'm literally so sick of this. I'm literally closing my laptop and leaving. I'm not doing this shit anymore. Like I'm like don't want to be here. Can I leave, Omid? I don't want to do this anymore. I have to go to an appointment. I don't want to be here. It's so fucking stupid. I want to leave. Did Michelle just uh -huh. leave? Uh -huh. Yeah, Michelle, what yeah. the heck? Okay, well, I had to go originally. I had to go get lip fillers, first of all. And then, Ray yeah. was being really annoying, as you guys saw. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, might as well, like, might do a two for one, just. And then peace, goodbye. Yeah. So how has life been after A and I? Have you had any crazy opportunities? Just tell me everything. I mean, it's been like kind of the same, but like I've noticed I've had like a lot more like people comment on my posts coming from A and I, like and like a bunch of things like that. But then I've just been like doing my own thing. Living life. So Eileen, the trailer for Growing Up Eileen season six just dropped and it is actually so juicy and we have to take a look. So let's roll the clip. Everybody's always saying like, what happened off camera? Okay, fine, then I'll tell you guys what happened off camera. You're talking to Eddie? Hey sister. Hey. I do have concerns, the influence that they have in her life. Eileen, I don't think he respects you. Who's this guy? Put your shirt on now. You should cut him off, Eileen. What are we like? Oh my goodness, Eileen, that was a lot. And a lot of Eddie too. Tell me yeah. about that. First of all, it's a little bit weird for me, okay? Because I haven't had a boy on the show, like somebody that like I'm into since my ex. So it's kind of weird to have like, you know, a little love interest on the show. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, our relationship is kind of complicated, so. So Michelle, are you gonna be watching this season of Growing Up Eileen? Of course, I have to support Eileen and I have to yeah, find out this down. tea because I didn't even know her and Eddie were still talking until now. Me but, neither, yeah. Okay, like, I, I guess have, I have to watch. I have to watch you to guys, see what's going on. Like, different. I have to watch. Yeah. I'm gonna be addicted, post notifications on, you already know. So Michelle, in a past Vibe Room episode, Eddie said some comments about you that made you feel really uncomfortable. 10 years after A and I, Michelle will be getting a job as a stripper. Oh what? Oh. Uh, so Wait, stripper. did you? <laughs> stripper. <laughs> stripper. <laughs> you know, her in a bikini would look so good. Like Ooh. her in a two-piece, you know, her on a pole. Oh my god. How did that really make you feel? You know, not only did it make me feel uncomfortable, it made all the viewers uncomfortable as well. Cause I didn't even watch the episode and people were on my page commenting, saying, I can't believe what Eddie said about you, I can't believe. And I go on the video and then I read all the comments. All the comments are about what Eddie was like talking about me. He was calling me a stripper, like saying, oh, she would look so good in a bikini on a pole. Like that's just weird. I don't even think it, Eddie realized what he was even saying. And then yeah. I, I had to tell him like, that's pretty weird, like what you said. And I asked him if like you guys reached out to each other and like you talked or like if anything, and he said no. So Michelle, what is like your final stance on Eddie, like right now? I mean, he's not in my life. He doesn't affect my life. So I mean, just kind of push it to the side and like don't pay attention to him. I'm not gonna see him out anywhere. We don't have the same friends. I don't really have to worry about him in my life. Well, thank you guys so much for being honest. And Eileen, I cannot wait to see everything that goes down on Growing Up Eileen season six when it comes out on September 16th. Oh no, God. but seriously though, you guys <laughs> never hold it back when it comes to just anything, tea and drama, which is why I thought it would be a great time to play a game that I like to call Choice Words. Okay, oh, what is that? What, what yeah. is that? Hmm. So how it works is I'm gonna give you guys different cards with different answers on each one. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna read a fill in the blank statement and you guys have to answer with your cards. Okay. And get this, you can only use your card once. So 
Choose wisely. Okay. This is gonna be pretty wild, so let's get started. Both of you pick your cards up and let's get playing. So take a good look at your cards. Remember, you can only use each card one time, okay. and then once you're ready, we can get started. I'm ready. Okay, so first question. My first kiss in the A and I house was. Fun. <laughs> well, this is so embarrassing. Okay, I got it. Okay. So Eileen, are you ready? Yeah. Your first kiss in the A and I house was. Bussin' bussin'. Okay, with the lip <laughs> bite emoji. Okay. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Yeah, it was okay, I guess. So you're talking about the hot tub scene with Eddie. Mm -hmm. You think that was pretty good? Yeah, I was. You thought it was not pretty. I good. I won't get over it. Maybe until next year I'll get over it, but what about Michelle, you? your turn. So my mine was fire. Ooh, we. Who was your first kiss in the house? Me and Avery Peck. Oh, that's right. Oh, Spin the um. My kiss love. Truth. Kiss oh, wait. Truth. Kiss the truth. Thank you for that. We are moving on to the next question, and it is my relationship status is. I think I. Oh, a good card for this. Michelle, your relationship status is. We'll, Shady. We'll go, with this. we'll go with this. Ooh. What's, wow. What does that Tell mean? Tell smart. I mean, this was like the only option card I had. True. But like, it's complicated. You there is someone. No. Ooh. There is someone. Eileen, relationship status is? Is. Oh, <laughs> oh. Wait, stop crying. Wait. Why? Why did no. you pick that card? If there was a toxic one, I'd put up. This is the closest I'd get to toxic because you shit, like toxins out, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just it's not it's not, it's the, not best the best right, right now. now. I mean, yeah, you just have to watch growing up and to see what I mean. Well, thank you for that. Next question. I would describe the A and I house as Eileen. You would describe the A and I house as shady. Shady. Ooh. Ooh that's a really good one. Ooh, why was it shady? I mean, like, good. when you look back at episodes, you realize who's, like, real mm. and who's fake. Yep. And you realize who says something about you behind your back and who is, like, happy to your face. You know what I mean? So, Michelle, you would describe the a and I house as... Basic. Basic. <laughs> okay. Like, the boys? Like... You there could have been hotter guys. Up with someone. There could have been hotter guys. There could have been guys hotter guys. There. You gave the most basic. <laughs> Y'all no, think? Not even that. They were like cute, but like they could have been more down. They weren't. No, they were just basic ass <laughs> that make shirtless dancing TikTok videos. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I would describe Maddie's TikToks as. Okay, well, I guess we'll go with Snatch. This is a little too overhyping it up, but I do like her TikToks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do like them. I think they're very entertaining. And yeah. then what about you, Eileen? Um, Maddie's TikToks are... Pick me energy. Oh. <laughs> Why do you say that? She's just a pick me. Oh. She, she even says it herself. She's she aware. Does. She's self-aware. All right, so last question. So get ready to pick your best and favorite card. The next season of A&I will be... What? Sorry, I'm just going to put it out there already. Dumpster. Nothing will be our... Overrated. Nothing will be, yeah, Ooh. nothing will be our season. Yeah. Okay. You don't think any, no other season will be season two? No. I mean, I'll hand it to them if they bring it with the more drama and more hookups and stuff. Well, thank you guys for playing that very fun game with me. I had fun. Did you guys have fun? I yes. had a blast. That Time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, seriously, I can't wait to see what the a &I house for season three is going to look like. Mm -hmm. But speaking of houses, it's time to talk about our TikTok trending topic of the day. Well, you guys are no strangers to content houses since you both lived in one in the a &I house. I wanted to hear your opinions on content house breakups. So Bryce Hall recently just moved out of Sway House and kind of blew it up. And Michelle, you've been a part of a breaking up of a content house as well. Michelle, what was your house breakup like? Um, so the first content house, I was in Clubhouse. I left and then I, I was just kind of like, bye guys. Wait, so why'd you leave though? Because the management under that one sucked. Uh, it was trash. You can look up some articles about that in your mm -hmm. own free time. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get sued about <laughs> talking about it. Anyways, next content house was Alpha House. And you know, a funny story actually. It's really confusing. I still don't understand it to this day. One day while we were in our house, a bunch of people with a, a bunch of people with guns came in the house and like, we're like, yo, get the 
a little traumatizing. I don't know. I really actually have no answer to the question of that day. But then we moved into a new house and then it just ended. So Wait, so are content houses just not what they seem? No, not at all. Eileen, do you see yourself ever moving in full time to a content house? Or... No. No, why? No, I just, I don't see myself like. Being... Even with like people you're like really close with? No, I just, I wouldn't, it's not my cup of tea. Like I, I always say, and I probably sound like a little girl when I say it, it's just I can't leave my family. So I know you guys have heard um, mm -hmm. about the whole sway, breakup, crazy situation going on. I just want to hear your opinions on that. Honestly, I think it's good for Bryce for him to like get out of that whole content like house lifestyle and like go more with like the LA crowd and like, you know, flow. I mean, maybe it was a sign. Like maybe those like, they weren't meant to be like, you know, his friends. Like that's a fake move. So mm -hmm. maybe it's for the best, you know? Well, thank you guys for being honest with me and sharing your experiences. If you guys at home have any ideas about trending topics that you really care about, that you really want us to talk about, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Well, now it's time for my favorite part of the show where we get the fans involved. Oh, yeah. yeah. Loki my favorite too. It's Loki your favorite yeah. too? There have been a lot of assumptions about the influencers on the show. So we had fans send in their juicy assumptions so you guys could tell the truth. Whatever that might be. Ooh, wow. Uh, Here we go. And no judgment from me at least. So let's dive in. Oh my god. Eileen, <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. one is for you. And Jazz E assumes that Eileen kissed Maddie. No. Uh, no? So you're ruling out that assumption, it is false. No, yeah. You never kissed Maddie. I never kissed Maddie. I don't know where that came from. Michelle, this assumption is from Clarita, and they ask, Michelle low-key liked Eddie on the show, but didn't want to show it because of Eileen. Like, where are people pulling these <laughs> things from? Like, they're like, Literally, what? Never, that's so incorrect. Right. So that's incorrect. No liking. Assumption denied. Yeah. Next question. Elizabeth V assumes that you felt really bad when you watched back the show and saw Eddie calling Michelle gorgeous during date night. Did you feel bad? Um, no, because Michelle's a gorgeous girl. Why so would, I mean, why would she like, feel bad? Why would she feel yeah. bad? Yeah. I didn't feel like maybe like I don't know if they meant like jealous or like sad about it. I've never felt like any type of jealousy between Eddie and Michelle because they were like they're on and off. They're like hot and cold all the time. And then yeah. you guys were like friends at one point and then not. But I knew that it wasn't more than that because I knew Michelle never liked him. Like Michelle, Aileen Gomez assumes that you didn't really like Aileen on the show, but then after the show kind of grew to like her. Was she right? No, I liked Aileen completely on the show. So you guys were friends pretty much during the entire show. You weren't like best friends, yeah. like you and yeah, we Ace and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we weren't best friends, but I never had a problem with Michelle. Yeah. And our last fan assumption of the segment is from Emily, and they assume that nobody has talked to Rave since the reunion. I mean, I haven't talked to her. I personally haven't, but I know, because I still kind of talk to a couple people, I know that Matt has probably kept in touch with her. Mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know if Matt. They were at a party together. Oh. Well, okay, I'll just say that I know Matt was at a party with her the other night, and I know Eddie's seen her in the middle, so. Well, we're not done here, but thank you so much to all of the fans who left assumptions and just questions on Vibe Room episodes. If we didn't get to your question, don't worry. Make sure to comment on this video, and we will try our best to answer it next Vibe Room episode. But finally, it is time for our last game. And it is time to spill some tea, which is why we are playing a game called Spill or Smash. What the Spill heck? or Smash. I'm gonna ask you both some hard-hitting questions that you might not want to answer, but the fans definitely want to know. And if you don't want to spill tea, that's totally fine. You don't have to. However, you will have to smash a hard-boiled or raw egg, potentially, on your head. Well, this game is gonna get messy no matter what. So, who wants to go first? Or do I have to pick? Ooh. Come on, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come, Come on, on, Eileen. Eileen. Uh, Come I'm right here. <laughs> okay, fine. So, Eileen, who was your last hookup with? Um, well, it's not like a all the way hookup, but like the last person I like kissed was Eddie. Oh, okay. Now, Michelle, question for you. I'm ready. Have you ever cheated on someone? No, I've never even had a boyfriend. Well, 
until okay, but I've never had a boyfriend. <laughs> wait, wait. Until what, <laughs> until, Michelle? A little bit of hesitation uh, uh, there. Uh, little, okay, so you've never cheated on someone. Yeah, I've never cheated on someone. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Eileen, next question is for you. Have you ever hooked up with your uh, man's best friend? That one's a little too. I don't think I can answer that. Oh, wait, you're not gonna answer it? Mm, I don't think I can answer that. You know what that means then, Eileen. Sorry. I can't do this, you guys. I literally do it, do it. Oh! Oh my. It was hard boy. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Okay, she got, she did get let off the hook. It wasn't a raw egg. Michelle, who did you kiss in the house? Uh, I plead the fifth. Are you sure? I did. Just say I, it. We were all in the same room. I plead the fifth. <laughs> What's happening right now? I'm sorry. Me and Michelle had like this <laughs> No, thing, okay? I mean, so keep your mouth shut. <laughs> okay, I'll keep my mouth shut. Nothing happened. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's literally more stuff about A and I that we have not talked about yet, like tea, stuff that I don't know yet. What's going on? I plead the fifth. Michelle, Thank you. Well, she, you do have an egg in your hands. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Michelle. What is the side of your head, donk? <laughs> Stop! Oh. Our last question of Spiller Smashes for both of you. Where will Eddie be in five years? Oh, this is, a, this is a familiar Where's question. Yeah. I think in five years, well, I hope for the best, that Eddie will be very successful in whatever route he chooses to go down. Don't know what he's going to do. Um, I don't know. I just hope he's successful and has a good life. What about you, Eileen? Maybe he'll... Would he be dating the star of Growing Up Eileen still? <laughs> uh, no, I think we'll Eileen see. will move on to the better. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope, Michelle. Michelle's yeah. radiating positive energy towards my way. Yes. Um, I don't know, I just hope he's... I mean, I feel like he'll... Yeah, probably take his career to the next level, maybe, and branch out other than being a TikToker. Well, thank you both so much for being on today's episode of Awesomeness TV's Vibe Room. Eileen, I'm sorry, I just cannot wait for your show to air I'm on so September sad. 16th. Woo. If you guys want to watch it, make sure you subscribe to Awesomeness TV because that is where her show is airing. September 16th, save the date. And thank you all so much to the fans at home for watching this week's episode of Awesomeness TV's Vibe Room. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Also, don't forget to comment any questions you have for a future Vibroom episode. Hit that bell so you get notified every time a new Vibroom episode gets posted. I'm Owen Holt. I'm Eileen. I'm Michelle. And you're watching Awesomeness TV's Vibroom. Bye, Bye everyone! Woo! <laughs> Who was Eileen's best kiss? Ace V King or Pat? Oh, Axel, yeah. what did you put? <laughs> I put Pat. What did you put? Oh! No, Who she... is Pat?